autopsies are expected to be performed on all the victims as well as the suspects in the coming days. We will keep you updated when we learn more information both on air as well as online at WJBF.com. Live in Aiken, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Talk, WJBF News Channel 6. All right, Sean, thank you. Washington County officers and deputies took part in a crisis management training program this week to learn how to assist people with mental illness. It's part of an effort to help people get treatment instead of having to arrest them. News Channel 6's Chloe Salsameda has more. This is crisis intervention team training. Law enforcement officers from Washington County are learning how to respond to calls when a person is going through a mental health crisis. The reality of this is a call that we're going to go to. Like you are going to go deal with uh, people going through through mental crisis, and it's it's very important that we know how to appropriately respond. This week long course puts officers in different scenarios: a person thinking about jumping off a bridge, a neighborhood dispute, and a child's mental health episode. Officers not only have to think on their feet to defuse the situation, they need to get the person proper care. These are things that happen in everyday life, things that you see on TV that you think do not happen in our communities that actually do happen. And it did happen in the Washington County community. 58-year-old Yuri Martin died in custody after being tased by deputies. He suffered from a mental illness. This training helps us develop the, the skills to actually handle those situations without going to physical force. The training also tailored to help officers battle their own demons. Most citizens uh, that are not first responders or not in the military, they may see two things in their lifetime. It's called critical incidents. We may see two in a day. Our body is not made for that much trauma, so we have to have some way to uh, vent that, to release that. In Washington County, Chloe Salsameda, WJBF News Channel 6. Juvenile justice advocates in South Carolina say the time for change is now. They're pushing a county animal shelter is running out of room. They need to find forever homes for a lot of pets. News Channel 6's Mary Coggins explains why now is a great time to adopt a four-legged friend. Bob Gordon of the Friends of the Aiken County Animal Shelter says when people don't get their pets fixed, the litters of dogs and cats can become strays and end up filling up shelters. Even when it's just a small amount of people that aren't getting the animals fixed, the population can explode on you. There are 84 dog kennels at the Aiken County Animal Shelter, and they're almost full. And Gordon says they're on their third wave of what they call kitten season, a time when there's a high intake of kittens. Now all of a sudden we're getting a lot of kittens coming in. Uh, people are finding kittens, single kittens, uh, and they're bringing them in. The cost of spaying and neutering is included in the adoption fee, which right now is $35 yes, for dogs and $10 for cats. So every animal that we adopt out is uh, spayed or neutered, uh, it's microchipped, and uh, it's had all its vaccinations. If you have a pet that isn't fixed, Aiken County has a voucher program. If you call the Aiken County Animal Shelter, they will help you navigate the process. That's so important because uh, if you don't get your animals fixed, it doesn't take many for it to, for it to cause uh, you know, uh, more and more population and then cause more and more strays and more and more suffering, really. The pet adoption process takes about 20 minutes and you don't need an appointment. In Aiken, Mary Hawkins, WGBF News Channel 6. This weekend, there will be a free eye, dental, and medical clinic in Louisville, Georgia. The clinic's being hosted at Jefferson County High School by nonprofit Remote Area Medical. Treatment is offered on a first-come, first-served basis, and no ID is needed. Clinic doors open at 6 a.m. Saturday and Sunday and will continue until capacity is reached. Coming up, a new bill passed.